Hey everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is our beginner strength training workout. This total body workout only requires a pair of dumbbells, and the weight that you choose will be completely dependent on your fitness level. You will also have the option to use either a bench or a chair for a couple of the movements, but it's not required. Follow me for the standard exercises. And follow me for those easier modifications. All right, let's go. All right, let's get started with the warm up. The first one we're gonna do is gonna be a butt kick jack. So we're gonna go side to side, bringing your heel back, bending at the knee, kicking yourself in your own glutes and backside, and then bringing those arms up overhead, keeping your elbows bent, performing like a jumping jack arm swing. Moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with. But keeping in mind this is a warm up. Exactly. Not, not a time to do max out effort on butt kick jacks right <laughs> no definitely don't want to do that the purpose of this warm-up is just to get your heart rate up and warm up those muscles and joints now throughout the course of today's workout we're not going to count any repetitions so we just want you to move at a pace that you feel comfortable with and completing as many reps as you can in the allotted time period let's go ahead and do this one for just 10 more seconds we're almost there Staying nice and light on those balls of the feet. Nice soft ground touches for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, for this next one, we're gonna show you two different variations. We're gonna start with your feet, shoulder width apart, slight bend in your knees. You're gonna place your hands on your head. We're gonna do a good morning, which is we're gonna drive our hips back behind us, use those hips as a hinge, keeping a slight bend in the knees, ideally until your upper body is parallel to the ground. And as we come up, Claudia's just gonna come straight up, but I'm gonna come up and twist. Coming back down, keeping your upper body parallel to the ground, and we're bringing our hips forward as we stand up. I'm twisting in the opposite direction now, alternating between my right and left side. And on this one, as you stand up, I really want you to focus on squeezing those glutes up at the top. And you decide which variation is right for you and your given flexibility and fitness level. Either way, on the way down, driving those hips back behind you, those glutes back behind you. Once you're trying to touch the wall with your glutes. And you feel a stretch in your backside, hamstrings, and in your glutes. As you drive your backside behind you, like you're trying to touch that wall back behind you. Keep your head in a nice neutral position with your spine. And making sure to breathe, don't hold your breath. It's a great one for loosening up that posterior chain, your hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. And if you're doing the twist, you get a little bit of thoracic mobility in there as well. And let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, last one in our warm up. We're gonna get that heart rate up a little bit. We're gonna go opposite elbow to knee. Now you decide on this one how high you want to bring that knee. Again, depending on your flexibility and fitness level, you can either get the elbow all the way to the knee or you can bring it up a little lower, a little more modest height. Again, you decide which one is right for you. Moving side to side. It's a good core exercise, working the legs, shoulders, getting everything warmed up on this total body move. Again, getting that heart rate up, getting ready for this work we're getting ready to do. It's a good time in the routine for you to think about what it is that brought you here today to begin with. And I really want you to focus on it throughout the workout. Whether you're trying to get stronger, just get in better shape, lose weight, whatever it may be, whatever it is that brought you here today, keep it at the front of your mind and it'll help get you through to the end. Speaking to the end, we're finishing up this warm up here in five, four, three, two, one, 
Zero. All right. Good warm up. Excellent. All right. We're going to need our dumbbells to start. Again, choosing a weight that you feel comfortable with. Remember, it's always easier to start light and work your way up than the other way around. Make sure to use those legs as you pick up your dumbbells. We're going to start with a stiff leg deadlift plus shrug or an RDL plus shrug. So feet shoulder width apart, little bend in the knees, very similar movement to what we were just doing with the good morning. Arms are hanging down straight in front of us. Keeping my back straight, pushing those hips back behind me. I'm going to go all the way down to my feet. And I'm going to stop just below my knees. And then bring those hips forward as we stand up. And we're both going to shrug by bringing those shoulders to your ears and back down. And go ahead and repeat. You decide which depth is right for you. If you have a little better flexibility, you can do the complete stiff leg deadlift. Or you can do the Romanian deadlift, which is the one I'm doing. But either way, same movement pattern where you really focus on, on driving those hips back behind you, keeping that same slight knee angle throughout the whole move, not bending down with your knees and turning it into a squat, but instead using those hips as a hinge. And then once you get to the top, we're engaging those traps, bringing our shoulders to our ears, squeezing our traps, our upper back muscles, and returning them back down. And this one's important you keep that back straight throughout we don't want to round your back keep those shoulders nice and retracted no rounding of the back also want to keep that head in a nice neutral position that means we don't want it way up or way down we want it in line with your spine completing this one for just five more seconds four three two one Zero, great. All right, we're gonna keep these dumbbells in hand. We're moving on to a dumbbell lateral raise. And you might find that throughout the course of today's workout, you need to change up the weight and go lower or higher for different moves. So you be the judge. Correct. Um, knees are bent slightly, upper back's bent at a 45 degree angle. Let's go ahead and bend both of those elbows at a 90 and tuck them into your body. Now we're gonna raise from the side, raise those elbows and return back down. Nice and controlled, this is a dumbbell lateral raise. Keep those elbows bent at a 90 degree angle. And then as you come up, come up until uh, your underarms and armpits are at a 90 degree angle. This one's gonna work your, both your medial delts, your rear delts, a little bit of traps in there, which is your upper back muscles. Great upper body move. Nice and controlled. And just holding this position, you might even feel it in your legs as well. Definitely, just holding this base, which is totally okay. It's actually a good thing. We'll call that a little extra credit, guys. That's right, and keep your core nice and tight as well. And so we, when we say that, we literally mean keeping those abs engaged. And this will also act as an ab workout or ab exercise for That's you right. at the same time. Very efficient workout today. Getting a lot of muscle groups in a short period of time. You got it. Not much left on this one. Again, control that descent, that lowering phase as you lower the dumbbells back down. Four, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, we're moving on to a lower body move next. We only need one dumbbell for this next one. And I'm actually going to use a bench. So this would be a good time to use your bench or chair. We're going to perform. Need. We're going to perform a dumbbell goblet squat. We're gonna hold this dumbbell up at the top of the dumbbell in front of us, keeping those elbows nice and tucked to our side. Feet are shoulder width apart. Anytime we do any squat, we want you to break at the hips first. So the first thing to move is your hips back and then you can bend at your knees. We're gonna go down to your thighs are parallel to the ground and back up. And I'm doing it just until I touch the bench with my rear and then I'm popping right back up. Using the, a bench or a chair behind you, you can, one, work as a safety mechanism just to make sure you have something behind you. It can also help you uh, gauge your depth and how far you're going down. And just until you feel comfortable in doing it without a bench or without something behind you. Now on this squat, we're really focusing on driving those hips back. On every repetition, you wanna keep your feet flat, driving off those heels. Head up, chest up. Don't allow your knees to come in at all. Really focus on keeping them out. I'll make sure you're engaging your glutes on this squat. Back stays straight. Head is in a neutral position. Should to breathe in on the way down. Breathe out on the way up. 
Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out on the way up. Excellent. Good posture. You want to keep those feet flat. If you're having trouble, you're coming forward on your toes. Really focus on sitting back like you're sitting back in that chair. Excellent. Let's go 10 more seconds of these. Nice and controlled on the way up and on the way down. Excellent. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we can set your dumbbell down. Next one's going to be a body weight move. We're going to move into a modified push up variation. I'm going to perform the, uh, the push up from the floor. And I'm actually going to show you the incline push up from a bench. And you could also use either, you can use a bench or you could also use a chair um, or a countertop, a couch, whatever you have available to you. Making sure to keep your back straight, core tight. We're going to come down, keeping our hands in line with our chest. Come down until your elbows are at a 90 degree angle and then press back up. Nice and controlled on the way down and on the way up. And then we really want to focus on not reaching with our head, right? But instead keeping your head in line with your spine, just bending at those elbows, allowing your body to come down until those elbows are at a 90 and then drive off your palms of your heels straight back up good breathe in on the way down out on the way up keeping your core engaged making sure to breathe there we go breathe in on the way down breathe out exhale on the way up this one's great for your shoulders your chest upper back triceps core all working on this one again keeping it under control you got it. When it starts to burn and it starts to get tough, and to remind yourself what brought you here today to begin with. What is it? What are you working towards? What do you got to do to get there? You're doing it right here, rep by rep. Keep putting in the work, and those results will come your way. You got you to gotta trust the process. Exercise consistently, eating right, being patient, believing in yourself. You got it. Come on, keep pushing through here for five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. We're gonna need both dumbbells for the next one, moving into a combination movement. This one's gonna work both your lower body as well as your arms. I'm gonna start with my dumbbells at my side and my feet shoulder width apart. And I'm actually gonna start in a split stance position. I'm gonna perform a reverse lunge, stepping back and curl at the same time as I drop both knees to a 90. And I'm actually gonna just drop my back knee to a 90 and come right back up. You decide which variation is right for you. It's a little bit more of a challenge to do the step back, but either way, our goal is to really focus on trying to get both knees down to a 90 degree angle. Depending on your fitness level, even if you're doing the split squat variation, you may still find it hard to drop both knees to a 90, and that is totally okay. Just do the best that you can. Yep, and you might only be able to get down an inch or two, but that's all right. Come back next workout, it'll be two or three inches, and you'll just keep progressing and getting stronger. Which is the name of the game when it comes to strength training. That's it. Results don't happen overnight, but if you trust the process, keep showing up, good things will happen. Keeping good posture, I already feel this one in my glutes. I'm feeling it all throughout my glutes, hamstrings, quads. That's true. And my biceps. As you're curling those dumbbells up, I want you to curl those pinkies in. It'll help you get a little extra contraction on those biceps. Keep good posture. We don't want to bounce that back knee off the ground. We're switching legs here in five, four, three, two, one. All right, opposite side now. Switch your feet and right back into it. Hit that other in that other leg. Your front leg is gonna do about 75% of the work on this one. Excellent, good posture. Making sure you're not dropping that, or you're not, making sure that your front knee is not passing over your front foot. Keep that knee back. Good posture, straight up and down. Ooh, it's amazing how this movement can just increase your heart rate, because I can feel it. Oh, yeah, well, it's a total body move, right? Ooh. That's right. Like that's I'm why, losing my breath here. And that's why strength training isn't only good for building lean muscle and getting stronger, but it's also great for burning fat at the same time. Yep. Nice added benefit here, folks. Keep it up. You're doing great. Not much left on this side. Let's just hit last 15 seconds. We're almost there. 
Keep going. Keep grinding through. We know it burns. We're right there with you burning, folks. Come on, tribe, where you at? Let's go, Hesfit tribe. One rep into the next. What'd you come here for? Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Excellent. Ooh. All right, strictly an upper body move coming next. Oh, little legs involved. Like some, yeah, there's some That's legs. true, I guess 80% upper body. How about that? <laughs> Feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna do a push press. Go ahead and curl those dumbbells up till they're by your shoulders and chest. We're gonna have a slight bend in your knees, weight back in your hips. Sit back and then push and drive those dumbbells straight overhead. So use that energy from your legs to help drive those dumbbells straight up. Palms are facing inward. Extend your arms straight up overhead, finishing with your biceps by your ears. So really pressing them back. You don't want them in front of you, but straight up overhead. Excellent. Keep your core tight, making sure to breathe. Breathe in on the way down, out on the way up. Exhale as you drive those dumbbells straight up. This is one of my favorite moves of all time. I don't know why, but it's just... Works the core, shoulders, yeah. triceps, a little bit of legs, all getting hit on this one. Great compound move. As it starts to burn, focus on what brought you here today, guys. What is it? What motivates you? Every repetition, getting you just that much closer to your goal. Getting just that much stronger. Come on, we feel it too. Ooh. We're right there with you. Shoulders are burning. Last 10 seconds. Come on. Don't stop. Don't stop. Need to lighten the load. That's all right, but don't stop. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, man. Nice. Okay, we only need one dumbbell for the next one. We're going to move into a dumbbell posterior swing. Common movement you see people do a lot of times with kettlebells. We're going to use a dumbbell. Feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width, so wide stance. Point those toes out just a little bit. A little bend in the knees as well. One dumbbell, two hands, interlace your fingers. Yep, don't want to let go of the dumbbell. No, not through the TV. <laughs> okay, we're going to swing that dumbbell through your legs, keeping a slight bend in the knees, and then bring your hip forward as you extend that dumbbell up. This one's really all about your hips. Going back and forward, bring those arms out. So it's not a squat. So don't get your knees involved in it too much. Just keep them yep. nice and soft. You're using your hips as a hinge. That's right. You just keep that same knee angle throughout the whole move. And at the top, squeeze those glutes. Bring those arms up until they're parallel to the ground. Squeeze those glutes every time as you extend and stand up straight. Again, moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with. At any time you need to use less weight, more weight, or no weight at all and just move through the moves. That's okay. We just want you to keep fighting with us here. Keep moving, you got it. Not about being perfect, just about putting in the work, getting a little bit better every day. Being a little bit better than you were yesterday, defeating that you from yesterday that couldn't do it. But tomorrow is your day. Getting a little bit better every day right here. Come on. I like that line. Tomorrow is your day. Well, thank you. It just came to me, guys. <laughs> just came to me. But it's true, right? Can't be looking at what you did yesterday. Look at looking ahead. Always look ahead. That's right. Squeezing those glutes. We only have five more seconds on this. Can you believe it? Wow. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Oh, I All love right. It. Both dumbbells are needed for the next one. We're moving to the floor. Give you a second here to crawl to the floor. Moving into, I'm gonna do a combo, a dumbbell lying fly, along with the hip up, where Claudia is just gonna do the fly. Yep. So feet are flat on the ground. We're gonna bring both arms up, but wrap and bend at your elbow like you're wrapping your arms and hugging a tree. Now, we're gonna open those arms up, feeling a stretch in your chest, keeping a little bend in your elbows. Now, as I bring my arms together, I'm gonna drive off my heels and perform a hip up. And then I bring my hips down as the dumbbells come down. And I am just hanging with the fly motion here. So you decide which one is right for you. 
the fly is working your chest, shoulders, a little bit of triceps, where the hip up is working your glutes, lower back and hamstrings. You decide if you wanna make it a combo move or just focus on your chest and the fly. Either way, we're controlling both the ascent and descent. You want your arms flying down, not a race on this one. It's about time under tension, making those muscles work. And making sure that you're also staying in line with your chest. Very true. During the fly movement. We don't want you bringing your dumbbells over your face. Or the other way, we don't want them over your stomach either. Nope. But keep those, keep your hands directly in line with your chest. Great point, Claudia. And if you're doing the hip up at the top, you're really squeezing those glutes and engaging those glutes, driving off your heels. Again, one repetition into the next. Fighting through it, everybody. You got it. Squeeze, squeeze. Come on, you're a fighter, not a quitter. That's right. Let's see it. Prove it to yourself, not to us. Just you versus you. Look in the mirror. That's your competition That's right, right there. Make yourself proud. Let's do this one for just 10 more seconds. Finishing strong, everybody. Ooh, let's go. Come on, almost there. And let's go for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, we can go ahead and set your weights to the side. We're not going to need them for the next one. Moving on to a ab and core move. We're going to do a hollow body knee raise. So legs are out straight in front of you for this one. First move we're going to do is actually with your upper body. We're going to bring your chin up and tuck your chin, bringing your uh, upper back up off the ground. Go ahead and sit your arms out to your side. So we're gonna do a hollow body knee raise. Keeping this contraction right here with your upper body, I'm gonna bring both knees up at the same time, squeeze my abs, and then extend my legs with a focus on keeping my lower back flat on the ground. And I'm actually doing the exact same movement, but I am returning my feet to the ground for a little break and then coming right back up. I really want you to focus on keeping your lower back glued to the ground. We don't want an arch happening underneath there because when that happens, that means your hip flexors are taking over and your abs are no longer doing the work. Which is why it's very important that you tuck your chin into your chest here. Yep, and keep those upper abs contracted. And if you need an even easier modification, no problem, we got one for you. You can do one leg at a time. That's right. Again, return it back to the ground. And I'll give you the other way around. If you need something harder, you can do my variation, but do a straight leg raise now under control. Again, keeping that lower back flat on the ground. And it does not take much to really feel that burn in your abs. No, it doesn't. Because I feel it. And if you start with one of the harder modifications and you need to move to an easier, hey, that's totally understandable. We just encourage you to make this workout your own. No two bodies are the same. So it's important that you learn your body and learn how to customize for your needs. Breathe. Again, keeping that lower back flat. We're feeling that burn too, tribe. <laughs> We're right there with you, Hesfit tribe. Let's go. With you to the end. Come on, fighting through it, fighting through it. Try not to let your feet just slam down on the ground, but yeah. bring them back with some control. That's it, control them. Where are you at, guys? What do you want? What are you here for? What brought you here? Focus on it. Come on, fighting through that burn. You're stronger than that burn. Let's go, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Oh my goodness. We are going to need those dumbbells for the next one. Moving into another combination movement. Very efficient. A lot of work done in a short period of time today. We're going to do a bent over row plus tricep kickback. So feet are shoulder width apart. Bend over in a 45 degree angle. Back is straight. Shoulders are back. Again with that hip hinge. Arms are hanging down straight. Let's go ahead and pull back from those elbows like you got a string attached to them. And once they reach the top now, we're gonna do a tricep kickback. Extend at those elbows and then bring them back and straight down. Pull the elbows back like that string is attached. Extend, keeping your arms straight. Squeeze the back of your arms and your triceps. Bring them back and back down. So it's one, two, three, four, and repeat. One. Go ahead and count it to yourself, making sure to breathe. Core stays tight. There's another one of those exercises where you might start feeling your legs just from keeping that nice solid base and there's nothing wrong with that. Or your abs, because I know you're engaging those abs right now, That's right? That's it, and, and, we nice just got and, done and we just got done working them. Excellent point. 
You've actually been working your abs through this entire routine as well, right? Exactly. Everything we do, keeping that core tight and engaged, making sure to breathe. Don't hold your breath, guys. You will regret it. Let's go ahead, Sri Tribe. We're nearing the end. Nice and controlled movements here. Come on, keep pushing it. What do you got? Again, if you need to change the weight, we encourage you to do so. That's right. But don't give up. Don't quit. We definitely don't want any swinging during this uh, tricep kickback here. So that's a good indication that you probably need to drop the weight a little bit. That's it. Very true. Come on, keep it up. We're almost there. Last 10 seconds, Ooh, everybody. Here we come go. On. 10 seconds. That's it right here. What would you come here for? Focus on that goal. Every repetition, you're getting just that much closer to crushing it. And five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, Excellent. Nice work. Go ahead and set those dumbbells to the side. Shake those arms loose. We're going to move into a light cool down. The purpose of the cool down is to allow your heart rate to come down slowly mm -hmm. and get some extra mobility and flexibility working at the same time. Yep. So we're going to need you to move on over to a wall or a post. We're going to do a bent arm shoulder and chest stretch. So we're gonna open up that chest and shoulder, put your lower arm flat up against the wall. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and bring your shoulder as close to the wall as you can. And then let's turn away from the wall. And as you do, you'll feel that chest and stretch start to open up. Definitely feel the stretch there. And depending on your fitness level, you may not be able to stretch quite as much as we are. So we, or you might be able to do more. We just encourage you to, again, make it your own. Anytime we're doing a static stretching exercise, we want you to take it to between 85 to 90% of what you're capable of. You want to feel a good stretch, but you don't want to have pain. Let's switch sides in three, two, one, zero. All right, opposite side now. Again, that lower arm flat on the ground, I'm sorry, on the wall. Get your shoulder nice and close to that wall and then turn away from it. You want to keep that elbow bent at a 90 degree angle. And again, going to a point where you feel a good stretch, but not so bad where you're actually feeling pain. Just hold and breathe. It's a good time to work out to just take a second here to be proud of what you've achieved so far today. If we're working out, we're easy. Everybody be fit, but they're not. No matter how slow you were moving today, you're still lapping everybody who was sitting on the couch. Holding this one for three, two, one, and zero. We're gonna to move to the floor for the next sequence. Gonna stretch out your lower body. Nice and slow coming on down. Get those legs out straight in front of you. I want you to sit up with good posture. First one we're gonna do is gonna uh, be to emphasize the hamstring. So we're gonna place your hands on your hips. And we're gonna bend over, keeping our back straight from the hips as a hinge. So you might not get that far. I mean, we're really emphasizing the hamstrings on this one. Keep your legs straight. Don't allow your knees to come up. We're not necessarily focused on bringing the toes back at this point, but just keeping that good posture with your shoulders back, head in line with your spine, and then bending over using those hips as a hinge, really get a good hamstring stretch. And we're just holding on this one. Excellent. And remembering to breathe. Don't hold your breath. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Go ahead and sit up. All right, for the next one, we're going to focus more on your back and your lower back. So we're going to do from the same position, we're going to do a reach stretch. This time you can allow your chin and head to reach and chin to tuck into your chest. I want you to reach as far as you can. We don't want you to pull back on your toes at this point, but just reach as far as you can. Again, now it's totally okay if your back is bending and rounding. Just reaching as far as you can. Whatever that looks like, again, might be more or less than us. No big deal. That's right. If all you can do is grab your ankles a little bit. Yeah, or that's knees. That's fine. That, yep, or your knees. Whatever it may be. Just hold, hold, hold for five, four, three, two, one, and zero coming on up. All right, last one. We're going to focus on those calves. So very similar, but this time I want you to pull back on your toes. Again, I want you to reach, but this time without tucking your chin. Reach for those toes. If you can, you can grab them and pull back on them. But if not, it's okay just to reach and at the same time pull back in the balls of the feet. So you're either here, somewhere in here or you're going to grab onto them and manually you can pull them back if you'd like to. But we're really focusing on keeping those legs straight. Don't allow your knees to come up on this one. 
pulling back on those toes, getting those calves. Great stretch. Almost there. Good job, guys. Feels so nice. Big deep breaths here for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right. Let's go and turn over with one last one. We're going to move into a, a yoga move. We're going to do a cobra. Loosen up our abdominal muscles, our core, as well as our quads and hip flexors. Now with my, in a prone position, I'm going to press up. I'm going to look back, bring my chin up, keep my feet flat on the ground. And I'm actually just doing it from my forearms. So you decide which variation is right for you. But I'm still looking up into the sky. And maybe somewhere in between the two is right yeah. for you. Again, just make it right for you. Feel that big stretch in your abs. And again, just that time of the workout to be proud of what you've achieved, no matter what else you do or don't do for the rest of the day, you got your workout in and that's something to be proud of. Come back tomorrow or the next day, whenever it is that you're scheduled to do it and do it again. And every time you're gonna get just that much better, that much stronger, that much more confident. And it just builds. Success doesn't happen overnight. Just just the accumulation of that day in and day out effort. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. Come on up nice and slow, everyone. Make sure we don't pass out. That's right. Good job. Good job. Good job Excellent to you. Excellent work to you out there, Has Fit Tribe. Thank you for working out with us today. If you enjoyed this workout and you've been working out with us for a while, we'd ask that you please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this workout with us today, we ask that you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe yes. button so that you never miss another brand new workout from HasFit. Make sure to go at HasFit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts just like this one, as well as our complete free fitness programs. That's right. And if you are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat, come find HasFit. We're there and we want to connect with you. Again, thank you so much for giving us the privilege of exercising with you today. Yep. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.